And if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear you saying you will never break the chain. And if you don't love me if now, you don't love then you me will now. never love me again. I can still hear you saying you will never break the chain. Hi, we're the KTNA, and this is our In The Creek with The Blues Project. Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Of course, it's our dada. It's our dad, actually. <laughs> People don't know this, but uh, Stevie Wonder's our non-biological, biological music Father. dad, so yeah. yeah. So we had to pick him. Yeah, that's where we get all of our inspo from, is all of Stevie's uh, albums and music, but this one is one of our faves. Yeah, is there a particular song from there that you're like, yeah? <sighs> You could listen. All, of, All them. of them, to be honest. Every single one of them. He starts with Love's In Need of Love Today and it's just, that's just amazing. Like, what else is there? All of them. Summer like, Soft, Ordinary. Oh, we, we, I just read all of them. All of them. Black Man, all of them. It's just, in my opinion, it's kind of like, this album is about how to be a good person in a very difficult world and how to navigate the fact that we're living in very difficult times. And I think this album is like 40, 30 or 40 years old, yeah. or something like that. And even to this day, it makes me remember why I should be a kind person. Hang by the phone, and there you sit. You very soon in your mind realize that it's not just an ordinary pain in your heart. But don't fool yourself and tell no one else that it's more than just an ordinary pain in your heart, oh, in your heart. <laughs> You know it's what, I, it's beautiful to always have somebody to sing with and I think it's kind of like very, we're very intertwined, it's a bit like Avatar, you know when they lock tails in Avatar. <laughs> yeah. And we usually, whenever we're singing, if you watch videos of us, you'll always see us doing weird things with our hands and it's just our twin like Just language. from the way our hands go and I where say she's about to be. Low, it's weird, it's just yeah. a, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna dig into like a little bit of your background and mm -hmm. influences, I can already tell you Yes. Like, what are the like influences you get from like your parents or like people you grew up around? Like, what were they listening to in 2001? Well, my mum's a massive soul head. I mean, she's a white lady, but she her music taste it is, is crazy. crazy. She's on the Motown train every day. Like, not even just Motown. Just good just records. Good records. She would play bump music. Like, if you come to my house, you'll hear the house shaking before you get in my house. Like, my mum just had discos all day. And you can't tell her shit. No, you can't. You can't tell her shit. You can't, she'll wake you up in the morning at like seven o'clock in the morning, you'd be like, what? And the worst thing we ever did was introduce her to our music. So we took all of her music. She was like, yo, you want to show me some of your music? So I was like, okay, Anderson Pack. Tell me why I wake up at 9 a.m. to dun, 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 dun. I'm like, yo, you can't terrorize me with my own music taste. <laughs> you know, but she used to listen to like Anita Baker, uh, Aretha Funk. I mean, literally every, anyone Everybody. you can think of who was was amazing. That was what we grew up with, and always big, very big voices. I think that's really what helped us to find our own sound. It was yeah. always people really singing, not kind of singing. My mum's not into kind of singing, so <laughs> you either have to sing or it's not happening. Obviously, this whole year's been tumultuous. What like album has kept you sane? Um, a lot of albums, man. A lot of albums. We we're weird as well, so well not weird. We're just bespoke. We only listen really to old music, as you could tell. That that's why we picked Stevie Wonder songs of the Key of Life. But we listen to old music, and we have phases where we're weird. We will listen to one album for a long time. So at the moment, I've been listening to a guy called Christopher Cross from the seventies. <laughs> yeah. You do. And you won't even know him. He's he's not um, 
well, people will know him, but not in our generation, not like that. But Christopher Cross is amazing. He's kept me going with his album. What about you? And there's, there's a song at the moment that I keep playing. It's a George Michael song. Oh, my called, God. I think it's amazing. I don't know if you've heard of it. Have you heard of it? I think it's amazing. Na, 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 na. Na 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 Now I walk in the midday sun I never thought that my day would come My day would come, yeah I think it's amazing The way that love can set you free And now I walk in the midday sun I never thought that my day would come I think it's amazing I think you're amazing Da 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 so that keeps me going at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really a happy girl like that. <laughs> yeah. But that really makes me happy. It makes yeah. me feel really warm yeah. inside. So, yeah. Yeah, there's some good lyrics that kind of make yeah. yourself happy. Exactly. And every time the sun hits my face recently, all I think is, I never thought that I'd walk in the midday sun or see it go. <laughs> it just is very nice. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that made me sad, but. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> he has a few in that song that I just think, oh my God, like, what did he say? Um, the love, that, the way that love can set you free. Oh, it's so cute. Don't oh, set me up now, for God's sake. Oh, okay. no. Sorry, guys. I know you say you've got like an old soul. Music, yes. Old music, but is there any like new artists that you really oh, like? Oh, of course. Yeah. Right of course. I mean, I love soul. I'm like their stan. Yeah. But I just keep saying it out loud so one day they'll call me on the phone and say, yo, do you want to do a collab? Yeah, it's true. But I think Salt are amazing. The Free Nationals are amazing. Mm -hmm. Anderson Park. But I've been into Andy for, for a long quite time. Some time now, so yeah. We really have some amazing people in this generation to be proud of. So. Yeah. Georgia and Mav and all those yeah. people. We've got some amazing talent here in the UK and I just hope that it comes through more and more. If there was like a hook or a chorus that you wished you could have written, what would it have been? Oh, so many. I'm thinking about George Michael right now because they're just sang him, but yeah. that, Dreams, Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. I mean, that whole song could be Mac. To be fair, The Chain by the Fleetwood chain. Mac. The Chain. That is just a song about an angry woman, do you know what I mean? And I actually am I'm down for it, man. That chorus. Yeah. Yes. That's that actually one of my favourite. And if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear you saying you will never break the chain. And if you don't love me now, if you don't love you will now, never love me again. I can still hear you saying you will never break the chain. And if I had to say one, I'd say my old school favourite, Chet Baker, Almost Blue. I love Chet Baker. No! No, nah, so we can hang Stop. out. Stop! I never meet no, anyone who even knows I who Chet Baker, Chet Baker is. Oh my I God. And you don't know what love is. Oh, Stop! Oh, Stop. Hope we start crying, I'm not even joking. Honestly, uh, when I heard Chet Baker for the first time, it changed my life. So if you hear me listening to Chet Baker, it means I'm stressed out or I'm sad. But if I'm really stressed out, I'll just go into a room somewhere and listen to Chet and it'll just ease my pain. Mm -hmm. Really just, yeah, I love Chet. I saw it be Almost Blue by yeah, Chet Baker. I, I agree with you right there. I love you. you. Honestly, you forgive her. You forgive her. Oh, <laughs> you forgive her. It's I'm okay. Good. She got taste. She got taste. <laughs> she forgive her. You know what? I'm gonna say it's Sergio Mendes, oh, Timeless, Timeless by Sergio Mendes. I don't know if you've heard it. He did an album with, uh, I think Will I Am produced it for him back in the early 2000s. I think it might have been 2002 or 2003. But my mum used to have this green Bolingo. I don't know if you even know what a Bolingo is, but crazy car. And it would be the only album she played from start to finish in a green Bolingo. And honestly, I know why, because it was such an incredible yeah. album. It's got like, it's got pace, but then it also drops down. Yeah. It's fantastic. And you know who else has amazing albums? Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys! As, as like, <gasps> to listen to oh. start to finish, Alicia Keys is the best of albums, I personally think, even to this day, I think. Which one? Ooh, I think it might be Diary. Yeah. I think so. Is it, and what's the one where she goes, hello, oh, it's me. I didn't know I was here. You know which one I mean? She talks throughout that whole album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that one's Fantastic. the best. Yeah. And her intros, everything, she literally just says, come to my world now. I'm taking you from this world into Alicia Keys' world. So Alicia Keys has got to be the queen of albums for me. High five, yeah.
Good for you. I can tell you ladies have like oh, your playlist would be Oh, it's cool. It really is. It's if you get in the car, it was past us the artist card, man. Don't waste your time. <laughs> this is a question I've been asking everyone. 90s or noughties R&B? Ooh. 90s. 90s, yeah. For me. How was easy, is that? Yeah. Was, did people contemplate that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> point them out, point them out, girl. Point them out. Point them out. You're going to have to have some serious conversations in there. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you.